is a great way to start an episode. Quick dose of Trottle Cherubai. Going left because there's more twisty roads that way. Anyways, what's up, blockheads? Actually, headed right now to meet up with a guy about a motorcycle that I'm going to be giving away for season five on Patreon. So, season five of the Blockhead Bike Build. For previous seasons, we have bought a motorcycle, customized it, given it away. Currently, as of me recording this, we are customizing, building out, giving away a 2017 Harley Davidson Dyna Lowrider S. And for season five, we're giving away multiple motorcycles. So, going to meet up with a guy about one of those bikes right now. So on Patreon, if you guys are interested in signing up, go check it out, patreon.com slash blockheadmoto. Uh, right before this ride, about 30 minutes before or so, I asked you guys, I posted up asking the patrons, like, what do you guys want to see an episode about? I've got a whole long list of episodes, like, and subjects to talk about that I need to record and all that stuff, so. But every now and then, you know, like, I post up and I'll be like, hey, what do you guys want me to, you know, record? What do you want me to talk about? What do you want to know more about? And so I basically give you guys the opportunity to, like, request an episode. And so, y'all posted up <laughs> quite a few different, uh, different things. Lots of questions, so. Maybe I'll just handle it more like a Q&A and kind of go through it. We'll, we'll treat it like a like a Q&A. Wow, that was a strap. Like a, like a tie-down strap. That would be terrible to run over with a motorcycle if it were to get caught up in your wheels. So one of the things that uh, one of the patrons posted up, they were asking about FLMM. So I do need to give you guys an FLMM update. Because of the pandemic, the way FLMM works is it's basically paid for by the, by the sponsors. That's why it's a free event because you know I'm able to work with a lot of the sponsors that I have previously from Revzilla to MMI to Cycle Gear. The cool thing is, is in order for them to be there, we basically say like, okay, like it costs this much for this package, blah, blah, blah. And we take that money and we pay for the stunt team and we pay for insurance and all that stuff. So unfortunately, because the sponsors are a little hesitant to sign up because of the pandemic and then also the pandemic, you know, the whole quarantine thing kind of still going on. Uh, we have decided to push FLMM back, so unfortunately it will not be happening this year in 2020. However, we are pushing it back, and the current plan is the beginning of 2021. And the date we have picked out is actually going to be better than, uh, than the November date that we usually have. We've got some uh, cool plans in terms of scheduling it around this new date, but I will announce more of those details as we get there. My apologies guys, I really wanted uh we had the ball rolling, we had a date picked out and all that stuff, but it just wasn't wasn't happening, you know. Nobody really expected this whole pandemic thing and it just kind of, you know, shook our our whole plan. So, got to stay fluid like water as Bruce Lee says, right? And uh yeah, we'll just push it off a little bit, do it in the beginning of 2021. Start it off right and uh man, hopefully Hopefully 2021 shapes up to be a better year than this year because, God, man, like, 2020 just seems like a movie. It's ridiculous. Next question, a person posted up asking about social distancing uh, with riding motorcycles and events. So social distancing while riding motorcycles. Like, I, I call it mobile social distancing. To me, I mean, it's a no-brainer. We're already wearing, like, you know, if you've got a full-face helmet, that's... To me, that's better than like a, one of those PPE masks, right? Especially if you have a chin curtain, like you're totally enclosed. You know, keep the visor closed and it's not like you're gonna breathe anybody's like coughs or sneezes in or anything like that, right? The water droplets that are in the air, whatever they're saying. And then, yeah, if you keep your gloves on, you know, obviously keep your gloves on if you're looking to be, to be safe. But the thing is like, Motorcycle gloves are a little different than like those latex disposable gloves. Motorcycle gloves, like if I'm sweating, usually I'll open my visor and like I'll wipe my brow. If you decide to wear your gloves and like you fill up at a gas pump or something like that, like you basically have to wash your gloves, right? You can't, you can't touch your face. That's the whole point of gloves is that like you want to use them and then dispose of them, uh, you know, with the latex ones so that you're not like touching your face and stuff like that. You know, you don't want to wear gloves and eat french fries or something like i've seen pictures of people doing like what the hell you know there was this picture of a girl that like she went she picked up mcdonald's and she had like her mask on and she had like uh latex gloves on the subway in new york like eating the french fries with her gloves like yo you're defeating the purpose of wearing gloves like what the hell are you doing if y'all saw a couple videos back reese and i we walked into uh, walgreens you know basically like wearing you know, gloves, helmet, kept my helmet on. But yeah, I think I think it's a good combo. <laughs> I mean, we're already riding around protected with gloves and a mask, so. Oh, 
why is it so backed up? Another person was asking me about my gloves, so I do need to do like a dedicated episode to these gloves. Before I bought these gloves, I used to just kind of skimp on gloves and I, I didn't really like put a ton of money towards them. I would buy ones and they would tear and rip and all that stuff. And I'm very particular about gloves. I don't like gloves that like come up to here. I like ones that are like shorter, but that offer like a decent amount of protection in the palms and in the knuckles. Palms for sure, just in case you're going down. And I've gone down a couple times and uh, you know, it's always the palms that like, you know, it's natural human reaction to like brace for impact. These ones, man, I freaking love these gloves. I thought I lost them the other day and uh, I was immediately like, yeah, I'm buying another pair of them. So that should definitely tell you guys something. If I were to lose these, I would replace them with the exact same ones. Really good gloves. I like them. Pretty sure the link has been down there in the description since I got them because one of the most common asked questions on the channel uh, is what gloves are you wearing? So that's one of those links that I dedicated and put down there. Damn, man. This light sucks. It's like round three. Different ways of building, like buying it the way you want or buying something from insurance or a barn find, something along those lines, because that's what I'm struggling with. The Red Safe Blackhead Crew. Different ways of building. Um, okay, so what, what is that asking? That's asking like different ways of like customizing a motorcycle, I guess. Um, I guess it totally depends on like what kind of bike you're after. Like if you're trying to build out a cruiser or like a sport bike or like a cafe racer or what have you, it's, it's gonna be very like on a case by case basis, you know? So like I recently looked at a bike uh, for the season five giveaway and a lot of the stuff that was done to it is stuff that I would do to it. And so like if that person's willing to work with me on on the cost of it and not like charge me for <laughs> you know all those mods that they have on it at like full retail price then you know it's something that I would consider. So it entirely depends on what you're looking for, what you're looking to do. If you're looking for an older bike and there's not really like a ton of aftermarket options for it anymore because they don't make parts, they've got like some of the parts that you want on there and that's the route you're looking to go, then cool. If you're looking to build out like a cafe racer, but like you don't want to put too much work into it and you just find somebody that's already built out and customize a cafe racer, then cool. If you want to like really get your hands dirty, you know, start from, from step one, you know, a lot of the times I like to buy stock bikes. Yeah, I like to buy stock bikes because that way I know like really guy. Yeah, I'm a fan of buying stock bikes because um, that way I know that like there's nothing done that's like wrong to them. The only thing that they would really have had to keep up with is uh, like the maintenance, right? And so it entirely boils down to like whatever your preference is like if you can find a bike that has everything that you want done to it you don't want to like put in the time and the effort of like having to find the parts and spend the time in the garage and customizing it and wrenching on it i guess i mean all that stuff it takes a while then you know more more power to you if they're willing to sell it to you at a price that's fair you know a price that you're willing to pay but you know if you're wanting to like buy a bike and customize it and get all that experience like yourself then you know obviously look for like whatever it is the bike that you're looking to build from you know start from stock whenever i was originally purchasing my iron 883 i found a couple of them that had like different modifications on them i lean more towards stock just because you know i had like lower mileage it was super clean usually people that like just leave their bike stock too aren't i don't know they're not like getting too heavy into to them they're not like riding the hell out of them there's like kind of a different mindset like a different riding style between like somebody that is really getting in tune with their bike and modifying it versus like somebody that just kind of buys the bike and throws it in the garage and rides it every now and then like i don't know in, in my in my mind <laughs> anyways that's that's probably total bullshit that's entirely comes down to a case-by-case -case basis i think the question said something about trading in a bike as well or there was a question talking about trading in a bike so if you guys are looking to trade in a bike my biggest piece of advice like you know i mean you're talking about trading and you're talking about a dealership right my biggest piece of advice for that is to go towards like the end of the model year so like uh harley davidson for example they release bikes usually in like august and so their new year bikes are coming out like august september so if you were to go in like august september and say hey i want to trade my bike for like the previous year bike they're usually willing to work more of a deal with you also towards like the end of the month because they want to get their numbers right they're usually willing to work a better deal 
even better towards the end of a quarter so like basically you've got four quarters throughout the year and they've got to make like those quarterly numbers and then even better towards the end of the year so like if you guys go towards the end of the year and they're trying to make those end of year numbers yeah and then if you can find like a like a previous model year that like hasn't been uh hasn't been sold yet like a leftover usually willing to make a good deal with you there also trade-in versus like private sales there's sometimes you might be able to like get more for a private sale but yeah all right i'm gonna cut it here and we will continue in Turn just a moment onto union street oh my then God. arrive at your destination union a few moments later just be random talk about life things going on the good the bad we like videos you'll be just talking about random things right safe stay vigilant best slogan ever uh, I actually just recently had one of those style videos, you know, just kind of like random, so, but I'll definitely, you know, be recording more. There's, there's some more stuff that I kind of want to like talk to you guys about and like how things are going in the channel and all that stuff, you know, and myself. I did have one of you guys ask like to, uh, tell you guys more about myself, which is definitely an episode that I want to record. Um, uh, but obviously that gets like a little more personal. So, uh, I might make that a patron only video just cause yeah, I don't know. Like I kind of, <laughs> I don't know what the, what the terminology is like to add character development to the channel to like let you guys know a little bit about like myself maybe why i am the way i am and stuff like that i think it would be cool you know it just gives insight into like the type of person that i am i had somebody like say something the other day and uh they were basically saying how you know i'm lucky and i, I definitely agree i'm very lucky and i'm very fortunate to to have the things that i have but i don't attribute most of these things to luck i attribute most of these things to like hard work and uh, I am where I am because I put forth effort and that's a whole other episode like I could talk for shit 30 minutes about all that so but we'll definitely make that into an episode oh here's a good one would love to know your stance on a few things put your seatbelt on <laughs> by Ron favorite sports or sports teams mayonnaise Hellman's or Miracle Whip top pop tarts frosted or unfrosted favorite cheese or flavor soda or energy drink all right so sport team mayo pop tarts cheese it's sodas so I probably won't <laughs> be able to remember all those, but uh, just going through them. Okay, we had um, favorite sports team. So growing up, uh, my favorite sport teams were the Dallas Cowboys, because I grew up in, you know, born and raised in Texas. Huge Cowboys fan, you know, back in the day of like Troy Aikman, Emmett Smith, Deion Sanders, the glory days, you know. And then favorite basketball team was the San Antonio Spurs, and that's whenever they were going through like the, uh, the Final Four and playing in the playoffs and all that stuff. Yeah, I remember my family like bought a big screen TV back whenever big screen TVs looked like this. <laughs> like just massive pieces of furniture, right? But man, like honestly, like I've fallen off of sports. Probably the most recent uh, team that like I, I followed at all was college football was FSU that was because of my brothers you know like they're really into football yeah they I played football growing up for like what was it, like one or two years wasn't really a fan of playing it I like watching it but you know I, I was more into baseball growing up I mean I played baseball all through like little league to college absolutely loved playing baseball like I was really good at it watching baseball uh can't watch baseball it's like watching paint dry it's just so slow moving but yeah I mean I haven't been into sports for like a really really long time I think kind of when I moved to Orlando shit years ago uh, I got more into like cars like hell even before I moved to Orlando I got more into cars and uh, basically modifying and you know being into the whole car thing I think that's when I got my like they say that you get bit by the bug like the tuner bug or something I guess the modifying bug and that's when I started getting into vehicles. I mean, I guess back in the day, those are the sports teams that I used to be into and watch, but yeah, I haven't, I haven't really been into sports for like over 10 years, like really into sports. Whenever I hear people talk about sports, it's not something that like I really get into. I mean, I love watching a good game, but uh, it's just so rare that I feel like that there's, there's that opportunity to watch like some of those really, really good games. I think some of the best games that I've watched before though, have been uh, have been college because I feel like they have more of like a fight for it. There's more like passion. The next question was what was it? Mayonnaise or uh, Miracle Whip? Man, that's in terms of health probably Miracle Whip. But in terms of like flavor and delicious, real mayonnaise, dog. Faux show. Sure. <laughs>
pop tarts frozen or or regular i'm not the biggest fan of like regular pop tarts every now and then like i'll get a hankering for one dude those frozen pop tarts whoo you put them in the toaster they come out you put that little icing on it man i always think they need to have more of that damn icing like i want a layer of that icing on those pop tarts because that icing is what makes it god i haven't had those in ages like so freaking long should buy some of those next time i'm like at the grocery store which reminds me of oh what were those little frozen um peanut butter and jelly things that i used to have on the channel all the time oh my god i can't believe i'm like forgetting what the hell they're called the little uncrustables uncrustables yes i freaking used to love uncrustables who am i kidding i didn't used to love them i still love them i just i knew that me and uncrustables we had to we had to go our separate ways because it was just becoming an unhealthy obsession <laughs> if you guys haven't tried uncrustables highly recommend 10 out of 10. it's almost like more satisfying that you have to like take them out and let them thaw but I used to have like a hack for them and I would put them in the microwave for, I, I figured it out. It was like 22 seconds or something like that. And then they would be just perfect. All right, so I've got time for about one more. Um, another person posted up, <laughs> I guess asking for advice. How to not be weird whenever trying to find, <laughs> so funny, how to not be weird whenever trying to find people to uh to ride with i don't know why that would be weird like in the first place because you know like if you're just trying to ride and other people are just trying to ride you know like maybe like get on facebook and see if there's any groups like local to your area um i posted up a video actually about this a while back and i think it was titled like seven ways to meet motorcycle friends or make motorcycle friends or something like that and you know it went over basically like a, a whole list of ways to to make friends that ride motorcycles because like whenever i first bought a motorcycle like i didn't have any friends that you know my immediate friends that, that rode motorcycles like i didn't i don't think i knew anybody that rode motorcycles and now it's like all my friends are are people that ride motorcycles you know i mean i've got friends that don't ride as well but like even friends that i made that didn't ride motorcycles at the time like ride motorcycles now which is i mean to me that's super cool honestly like you know go to go to like local meetups and stuff like that if there's like a like a cars and coffee i mean is there like a motorcycles are welcome to cars and coffee right cars and coffee is everywhere so i'm pretty sure that uh motorcycles usually go to those things too so you know maybe look for one of those check out facebook you know see if there's any groups like in your area that you know meet up do like bike nights and stuff like that check out like uh if you're close to like a cycle gear you know i know they try to get community events and stuff like that uh if you've got like uh you know a local motorcycle dealership or you know garage or something like that custom shop usually they are uh, pretty in touch with the moto community and i mean that's kind of what it's about is like you want to get in touch with the moto community you want to like go ride with people because dude there's it's a feeling like no other whenever you're riding with friends you know you know it's like one of those things that i've said especially like a feeling that i felt whenever we're doing like some distance trips like going to the keys and stuff you know you guys are all like offset in formation it feels like you're in a fighter plane and you're just like flying in formation with your buddies great just amazing feeling i don't think there's any reason for it to be awkward you know you just kind of the cool thing about the motorcycle community is that if you ride a motorcycle and somebody else rides a motorcycle you immediately have a connection like there is no having to like be awkward or break the ice or anything like that dude you just walk up to him and be like oh that like that's a cool bike you know like you know what bike is that like what all have you done to it you just start talking to them about their bike the cool thing about the motorcycle community the motorcycle culture is that you know we all are after the same feeling you know the feeling of being outside out in the open the feeling of you know freedom and wind in your hair or <laughs> wind in your helmet and we all share the same problems of the road you know we we all have those stories of like people being idiot drivers like on their phones or getting cut off in traffic you know like i just did that guy totally didn't even look shove me out of my lane you know but like we've we've all got something in common and so it shouldn't it shouldn't be awkward at all just be just super chill and go up and say hi and if i see somebody with another motorcycle and i'm like i'm like damn that's a cool bike and i'm interested in their bike i'll go up to them and be like yo i like your bike you know that's that's cool like what is it you know tell me about it and people are always enthusiastic to talk about their bikes even if they like don't modify them dude like i mean they they put some research and they chose that bike for a reason you know 
even if it's stock, like they will tell you why they enjoy and they got that bike and why it's the greatest bike ever, right? I guarantee it. So yeah, just go out there and, you know, I guess be laid back and, you know, talk to people about motorcycles because at the end of the day, that's what the community's about. And, you know, you can just say like, yeah, you know, I'm looking for some people to ride with. Like, do you guys ever do rides around here or something like that? And uh, yeah, maybe that'll kind of segue into uh, linking up and riding with some people and making some friends, man. Cause uh, yeah, it's, I think I've said it in this spot right here multiple times, but it's one of those things like motorcycles have absolutely changed my life. A lot of the friends that I have now, the people that I consider some of the closest friends, some who I call family even, are people that ride motorcycles just and the the amount of people that ride motorcycles like they're the amount of people that i've met because of motorcycles that i wouldn't have met otherwise because you're just in like different professions or whatever like i probably never would have met like a, a lot of the guys that i ride with you know blockhead crew just because i wouldn't have had any other reason really to like be around them but you know you meet people that are you know blue collar workers you meet people that are doctors lawyers dentists plumbers electricians like motorcycles don't care what you do like they, they are the the thing that brings everybody together so keep an open mind and go out there and you know talk to people about bikes and that's that's where it starts that's what gets the ball rolling you don't need an icebreaker you already got it so no reason to be awkward anyways i met up with that guy you know got some of the parts for uh for one of the next giveaway bikes but thus far i'll let you guys in on a, a little sneak peek we already have two i've already i've already picked up two motorcycles for season five so and i'm currently looking for a really good deal on the third if i can find it hopefully i can find one but at minimum we're giving away two motorcycles on patreon if you guys want to be a part of it check it out patreon.com slash blockhead moto like i said we're uh, kind of on the tail end of season four so we're giving away a 2017 harley davidson dyna low rider s transitioning here soon into season five and we're i'm not telling you guys what the bikes are but i know you're gonna love them we're giving away more motorcycles two at minimum like i said looking for a third right now if i can find a good deal anyways thank you to the patrons out there you know for one for your support two for posting up stuff for uh, me to talk about i hope that's kind of been insightful for you guys hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to hit the like button if you're not subscribed hit subscribe hit the bell icon so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity and see you next time ride safe out there stay vigilant catch you guys in the next one peace Ooh.